When was the first time you recognized Jane Wyatt? For many, it might have been through her iconic role as the gracious and warm matriarch, Margaret Anderson, on the classic television series Father Knows Best. Or perhaps it was her memorable performance as Spock's mother, Amanda Grayson, in the Star Trek franchise. Jane Wyatt, a versatile actress of her time, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Jane Wyatt's contributions to the world of entertainment have undoubtedly touched the lives of many. Actress Jane Wyatt, best known for her role in the archetypal 1950s family sitcom Father Knows Best, had an interesting journey to success. When the series premiered in 1954, it initially struggled in the ratings, leading to its cancellation by CBS in March 1955. However, a flood of protests from viewers insisting on its reinstatement prompted a change in its time slot. This move proved to be the turning point, and the show gradually became a hit. Despite her patrician bearing and upper-class accent, it may come as a surprise that Jane Wyatt was actually born in New Jersey and raised in New York City. Her ability to portray such a refined character on screen while having a different background showcases her acting prowess. In 2007, she received a special tribute as part of the annual memorial tribute at the 79th Annual Academy Awards, highlighting her lasting impact on the world of entertainment. These facts give us a glimpse into the intriguing career of actress Jane Wyatt, showcasing her determination and the recognition she earned in the world of entertainment. Jane Wyatt, the acclaimed actress known for her role in the 1950s family sitcom Father Knows Best, had a remarkable journey to success. Born to Christopher and Euphemia Wyatt, both hailing from New York, Jane Wyatt's path to stardom may surprise you. She was born in New Jersey but raised in New York City, a far cry from the patrician character she portrayed on screen. Jane Wyatt's acting prowess was evident as she convincingly depicted a refined character despite her different background. Her role as Margaret Anderson in Father Knows Best earned her three consecutive Emmy Awards, cementing her place in the world of entertainment. Furthermore, in 1937, at the age of 26, Jane Wyatt gave birth to her first child, Christopher Ward, with her husband, Edgar Ward. This personal milestone added depth to her life beyond her successful acting career. Jane Wyatt's enduring impact on the entertainment industry was acknowledged with a special tribute at the 79th Annual Academy Awards in 2007. Her determination and recognition in the world of entertainment make her a remarkable figure in Hollywood history. In summary, Jane Wyatt's journey from a New York upbringing to her Emmy-winning performance in Father Knows Best, and her personal milestones make her a captivating figure in the world of entertainment. Actress Jane Wyatt's journey to success was marked by noteworthy achievements. She attended Miss Chapin's school and later pursued her education at Barnard College, setting the foundation for her career. In 1986, she received the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award, a recognition of her contributions to the entertainment industry. Beyond her acting career, Jane Wyatt was an invaluable member of the March of Dimes charitable organization since 1943. She dedicated her efforts to support this cause, directing donations towards the March of Dimes. Her commitment to philanthropy showcased her impact beyond the screen. These facts highlight the multifaceted life of Jane Wyatt, from her education to her charitable contributions, making her a remarkable figure in Hollywood history. Jane Wyatt's legacy endures in both her professional and philanthropic endeavors. Actress Jane Wyatt, best remembered for her starring role as Margaret Anderson on Father Knows Best, had a remarkable heritage. On her mother's side, she descended from the Van Rensselaer family, one of the earliest Dutch families to settle in the colonies, as early as 1638. They once owned most of what is now New York City, and Rensselaer County in upstate New York is named after them. Notably, she was also a great-great-great-great-granddaughter of Philip Livingston, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. This rich ancestry adds an intriguing layer to her life and history in the world of entertainment. Jane Wyatt's connection to these historical figures provides a unique perspective on her background and the influence of her family's legacy on her journey in Hollywood. It's a testament to her own accomplishments as an actress and her place in American history. 
Actress Jane Wyatt, known for her iconic roles in classic films and TV shows, had a diverse and fascinating career. In 1937, she collaborated with renowned director Frank Capra in Lost Horizon, showcasing her talent on the big screen. Decades later, in 1986, she worked alongside Frank Capra III as the first assistant director in Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, highlighting her enduring presence in the world of entertainment. Apart from her successful career, Jane Wyatt's personal life held a significant place in her heart. She was a devout Catholic, and her late husband passed away on the day before what would have been their remarkable 65th wedding anniversary. This enduring love story adds depth to her life beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. In addition to her career and personal life, Jane Wyatt became a mother at the age of 33, giving birth to her second child, Michael Ward, on September 10, 1943. Her husband, Edgar Ward, shared in this joyous moment, further enriching her life. These facets of Jane Wyatt's life, from her collaborations with legendary directors to her enduring love story and the joys of motherhood, make her a captivating figure in the world of entertainment. Her legacy lives on in the hearts of those who appreciate her work and the depth of her personal experiences. Universal placed an ad in movie industry trade papers in early 1936 promoting Carl Lemel's 30th anniversary celebration. The ad included a list of planned productions for 1936. One listed title was Strangers at the Feast to star Margaret Sullivan. She was soon replaced by Jane Wyatt before the project was canceled, and the movie eventually was never made. Jane Wyatt's career was marked by interesting twists and turns. In 1936, she stepped into a role originally meant for another actress, Margaret Sullivan, in a universal production titled Strangers at the Feast. This change of casting foreshadowed the journey of a talented actress who would go on to make her mark in the entertainment industry. It was a pivotal moment that set the stage for her future success. Jane Wyatt's ability to adapt and excel in unexpected situations became a hallmark of her career. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the remarkable career of actress Jane Wyatt, it's the perfect moment to pause and reflect on the personal connection each of us holds with her timeless performances. Jane Wyatt's talent and grace have left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment, and there's no doubt that her work has touched many hearts and lives. From her iconic role as Margaret Anderson in Father Knows Best to her poignant portrayal in classic films like Lost Horizon, Jane Wyatt's ability to bring characters to life with authenticity and depth has made her a beloved figure in the annals of Hollywood history. Her versatility, the emotional depth she brought to her characters, and her ability to resonate with audiences across generations are the hallmarks of a true cinematic legend. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and cherished memories of Jane Wyatt's performances. Did her roles resonate with you personally? Were there particular moments in her career that you hold close to your heart? This is the opportunity for you to celebrate her extraordinary contributions to the world of entertainment. As we reflect on the brilliance of actress Jane Wyatt, let us also express our gratitude for the joy, inspiration, and thought-provoking moments she has brought into our lives. Her impact is everlasting, and her legacy continues to shine brightly through her work. Thank you for joining us on this journey of remembrance and celebration. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated.